because our growers are losing trees on a yearly basis and it's becoming a big problem because there's no new land and the growers have to replace the old orchard with the new ones and that basically causes the new trees to uh, get infected with our Milaria root rot which is a fungus that grows and clogs the root lines and uh, basically kills the trees and uh, uh, I paired up with uh, Dr. Greg Riegerd, which is our horticulturalist that studies the uh, performance of the rootstocks in our environment. Uh, and we uh, made some crosses between uh, sources of resistance or tolerance for the Armillaria root rot and uh, our predominant uh, rootstock guardian to try to uh, solve that problem. The problem with Armillaria is that the symptoms uh, take seven to eight years to show and that takes a long time uh, so we need uh, faster methods of evaluating the material we have so we know which have a potential and then we can wait seven to eight years to actually see if they really show better potential. The title of the grant is a short and long term uh, um, solutions for the armillaria root rot because our growers need help now and uh, what we try to do uh, with uh, Dr. Guido Schnabel and his so-called walking trees or uh, planting trees on berm uh, is uh, something that we can uh, offer growers right now to try to extend the life of the orchard and the trees and in the meantime we are trying to look on the uh, molecular level to see which genes are responsible for the resistance or tolerance to armillaria and to see how can we uh, faster select the potential rootstocks that would give that resistance in the future. That's why uh, those are the longer term effects. We paired up with the Michigan State University because they uh, found in cherry that there are some metabo metabolomic uh, compounds in cherry that armillaria root rot doesn't like. So we are hoping that it's going to be similar in peach and uh, it's a much faster way of determining if material is resistant or tolerant because you're using uh, metabolomic profiling and looking at uh, if the compounds are present or not.